raining avocados. <laughs> Hi everyone, Elizabeth here. Today I want to share with you my six favorite tips and tricks to make your dinner party go super smooth. I seriously love throwing dinner parties, but I know that they can seem really daunting and overwhelming at times, but the ultimate goal for a good party is just to relax and have fun with the people there, and I think these tips will help you get there. My first tip for you is to plan ahead. The more you can plan ahead, the easier everything will come together on the day of. When I'm coming up with a theme for a party, sometimes it's easy, like if it's someone's birthday, we'll be celebrating their birthday, or if it's for a holiday. But if I'm having a dinner party, just to have a dinner party, I usually go to Pinterest and make a board of everything that's kind of inspiring me at the moment. And then from there, I go into menu. And usually you can kind of tag team your menu and your theme together. The more that you can plan ahead for yourself, the easier the day will be. My second tip for you is to set the mood. One of my favorite things to do to set the mood is have tons of candles lit. For some reason, fire just gets people going. It's like another character in a dinner party. So make sure that you have some kind of candles going. Another way to help set the mood is music. Music is so important at any dinner party. It keeps the flow going. I love giving a friend this task. Just kind of have her know what the theme and tone is for the whole evening and have it make it last a few hours. It's a great way to keep the mood going throughout the evening. My third tip for you is don't be afraid to mix and match. It's totally fine if you don't have 10 of the same white plate. As long as they're in the same color family, you'll be okay. Like say you have blue and white, just do one blue plate, one white plate. It will totally look cohesive. Same with any other color. If pink's your favorite, go with pink. Just make sure that they are all sort of in the same family, but they don't have to be the same plate at all. My fourth tip for you is to just have a little something for when your guests arrive. I always like to put out some kind of like self-serve drink station. That way they can have a drink right away and you're not playing bartender either. You can finish off what you have to do. And then I put out a big cheese board or an appetizer too. That way people have a little bit of something to nibble on and they're not super hungry waiting for dinner. And even if you're a few minutes late, this will totally hold them over. My fifth tip for you is to get yourself ready. I know so many things are going on, your chicken is cooking, you're trying to get your cocktails going, but one of the most important things I can tell you is to take an hour for yourself. Make sure you go get yourself ready, get dressed, do your hair, whatever you have to do to make yourself feel really good. Sometimes I even have a glass of wine if I've been really stressed all day, it's fine. Whatever you have to do to get yourself calm and relaxed is great. My sixth tip for you is to keep everything insanely simple. Don't attempt to make anything that you've never made before. Keep it to dishes that you're super familiar with and just add a little bit of a flair for the theme that you're going for. One of my favorite things that I love to do is stop by one of our local bakeries in Old Town and grab a tray of cupcakes or cheesecake and all I do is top them off with fresh flowers. It's a really simple way to elevate a simple dessert and that way you're not slaving over and making cupcakes all day, especially if dessert isn't your thing. It's a great way to save time, but you still have a killer looking dessert. If throwing parties and having people over is one of your favorite things to do, head on over to the gathering section of our blog for more.